Hello, 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 dear friends. Chris here. I hope everybody is just wonderful today. Um, I have an unboxing for you today from two items. This is part two of my FG Normal uh, series in stained glass. So before I get to that, I just wanted to, again, welcome any new viewer here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like it here, please do those YouTube things for me. Like, like, subscribe, share, comment, etc. Uh, it would be very much appreciated. And to all my returning friends and dear True Blues out there, thank you so much for your continued love, support, kindness, and friendship. It means the world to me. So I have, uh, like I said, two items from FG Normal to show you. Um, and they will be linked below in the description box below. As long as any, as long, as long as, uh, along with, uh, I, I don't know. As I'm going, I don't know. I'm getting more tongue-tied. I don't know if it's nerves or just... I'm losing my ability to speak. <laughs> um, but uh, as I was trying to say, these will be linked below along with any other pertinent links or social medias you'll need from me. Okay. So again, FG Normal, thanks so much. Uh, and let's get to it. Uh, these are larger than the other ones. Now, I'm going to do the one underneath because it's a little smaller. So let's start off with this one first. Um... The back is no, none of that deep, uh, gappy kind of, uh, folds, but it did get crunched up a little on this end, but that's all right. Um, that's from shipping, the, the ends kind of get crunched in for sometimes. Anyways, so this is a 50 by 80, again, it's a round stained glass, and let's see what we have. A beautiful lady. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So before I go on, and I'm just going to mention this quickly because I've talked about it a million times, and I have the other one right here because I just filmed it. As you can see, the difference between the stained glass looks, this is much cleaner and more uh, streamlined, whereas these are much more confetti and, um, you know, it's just how it is. If you look, especially like if you look at the flower right there and they'll look at the flowers here or something. You know, even in the bird, you know, it's it's obvious, you know, just a little different. So those are the, so those are the difference between that. Um, she is really, really beautiful. The purple in here is gorgeous. Again, she here she is basically either she's on or she's behind or whatever or in front of, I should say, the stained glass window uh, and this beautiful frock. Love, love, love. Again, so 50 by 80, we have 25 colors. Um, there's um, color block areas like all in here. Uh, most of the uh, windowy area, the pane, is color block. About, but through here, which I actually like, they have like a strip of blue, which will, I think really will make it pop. And, um, you know, some in here we have a couple colors. So there's plenty of areas, even in where it looks confetti, to multi-place. Obviously, as we get in here, total, total confetti. That is a mess of colors. You know, <laughs> they're obviously flowers are probably, hopefully, you know, this is like something that would be better from a distance. This up close, it kind of just is a blob of color. But as you step back a little bit, it'll probably form more into the form more into the flower. But yeah, tons of confetti in there, you know, and in, in some of these places. But there, like I said, it's a it's a mix of color block and confetti. Um, excuse me, the stick is good. And yeah, so let's take you up to the drill field. Oh, I should show you the, let's see. Yes, we go from, uh, yes, we use numbers and letters in here. So here is our, oh, our details over here. Sorry for this crazy angle. I'm just showing you, uh, my body's all contorted into to get you this angle. I know it's really hard to see that, but that's the thumbnail. And we have the legend there our info there and again the drill field 
as you can see that right there, <laughs> her flowers in her hair, her face. Beautiful flowing hair. And her beautiful dress she has on. Purple dress, mostly purple. It's going to be beautiful. Uh, all of these are, honestly. They are just, it's just beautiful, beautiful pieces. Okay, so this is K603. Let's see. Not this one. Not this one. This one. <laughs> okay, so they come in the individually wrapped uh, bags. Um, we have, again, starting out with the purple, then this one, which is number two, which is two. Yes. We have, so we have black, so we have probably one, two, three, four, five, maybe five bags of black. Lots of black in here. Um, then we have some grays, some uh, very light cream colors, a little bit of tan, some blues. Funny purple there. I would have thought by the look of this, there was a lot more purple in here than there probably is. Maybe these are these are much more blue tones, but to me they're coming off as purple tones. Uh, there obviously are purples here, but the blues maybe are tricking me into thinking they're more purpley blue. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, just out of curiosity, that's probably like the D's. Yeah, that's a blue color. The 820. But anyways, very, very pretty colors. She's beautiful. Well, it's just to say, right? All right, so let's go on to the second one. She can go down there. This one, again, we have a little bit of creases in here. That's the bottom, so I'm gonna have to flip it this way. This one is 50 by 90. Again, it's around. And it's a stained glass, but it's a little bit look different looking stained glass. We have a gigantic, huge peacock. Now, this one has 30 colors. Uh, we go from numbers, two letters, and a couple symbols. Again, it's a 50 by 90. Stick seems very nice on here. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's just... It's definitely stained glass, but it... it I don't know. It just has a certain look to it. It seems like there's two, there's not as many colors as you would think. It says 30, but it doesn't really look like there's 30 colors, does it? Now, uh, before I get to any other up closeness or anything, I think the way this is designed, it's a simple design too. So maybe that's why it's tricking my mind a little bit with the colors and everything. But there to me is a lot in this canvas screams customization 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 because of the simplicity of the peacock and then the design you can really customize anything on this really easy let's give examples you could turn all of this the the like say the yellow part on the wet feather now in here there's really mainly one symbol which is a k then there are some z's and then, of course, around it, you have the other obligatory useless colors that make the kind of circle around it. So you could really just take out the K and the Z, and maybe there's even a 7 in there, depending. You know, you'd have to work on it to see how it is. You could not even use those colors at all. You could put crystals in there. You could make that all crystal, all AB. Maybe you just want to take one of the colors out and make one of the colors crystal and one AB or one regular color. Same thing in here. Maybe you want to leave that alone. Maybe you want to change the whole thing. It's really up to you. You can make all this middle crystal or AB or a mix or a mix of all three, regular drill AB and crystal. It's really up to you. You know, <coughs> excuse me, guys. And here in the blue feathers, you could do the same thing. Um, for instance, uh, I tend to look at where things pop out at me 
so what pops out at me is the V because the other ones are written lighter and um, either white, uh, yeah, that's white or this, uh, the Y is in white and green. So the Vs tend to pop out for me in the black uh, letter. So you could use the U and the, and the Y, let's say, and use them as the regular drills. And maybe just put, let's say some, whatever color, maybe that would turn you, that's a V, so it's probably blue. Yeah, so we'll have different blues in here. Uh, you could use blue crystals or green crystals or ABs or whatever. Again, whatever you want. Same thing in here. If you want to make these branches pop, just take out one of the colors and, and, and replace it for a crystal or AB. The same thing with the leaves. Same thing with the flower. I mean, again, the whole canvas, besides maybe the background, I would honestly leave the background how it is. I wouldn't touch that. Now, the background is not one color. There's an F, there's a star, there's an eight. Um, so there, and while there's a lot of color blocking, there are three different colors for the background, which I think is good. It gives it a little more depth and some more um, detail, let's say, uh, for the background colors, um, which are like whitish, probably creamish colors. And I would probably leave that, but if you wanted to, you could always, again, add some sprinkle and some ABs on there, whatever you like, crystals. So basically, this whole thing, and this is really why I got this, um, because I have a big, huge crystal peacock already, as it is, um, the full crystal. And so I don't really need another one, but this was pretty. I wanted to see what it looked like, because it did look different from all the other canvases, uh, again, as far as charting goes, as you saw with the girl here, and even with the other one that I showed you with the birds, this kind of looks like um, more of the bird type, but I don't know, it just looks more stark, maybe because it's a simpler image, like I said, but these are definitely customizable. I will be customizing this one. I don't know when I'm doing it or, or what I'll do to it. But expect a lot to be on this customized. Um, it, it'll just be gorgeous. And again, it's a, at a 50 by 90. It's a real statement piece being that big and with all these bold colors. Speaking of colors, I didn't show you the drills. Okay, and is this this one? Yes, this is this one. And they do have beautiful colors. Again, we start out at the bottom. We have some... Uh, mint green, some purples, some browns and tans, grays. There's some grays in here. Uh, then we go to the blues, to the either dark blues or black, um, to yellow, to tan, to pink, a little more tan colors. Then we get into a whole swath of the blue, which will be on the peacock with the blues and the teals, and that beautiful green color, and then some creams and whites. Off-white, I should say. So, these are the colors for this canvas. And again, it will really, really be beautiful. Um, either on its own, if you do this as charted, um, or honestly, I think customization is a great choice. Uh, there is a lot of confetti as far as, mm, not tons of color changes. I mean, uh, the amount of colors, but in the areas, where you drill, there's, it's almost checkerboardy, let's say. You know, for instance, like here in the blues, you have the J and the G and the X. Those are the main colors. Like everywhere there's two or three main colors where it's not like rows of colors you have to do necessarily, um, but they're more scattered. Now, I shouldn't even say that. You can do, there are rows. See, I'm, when I'm thinking about rows or color blocking, I'm thinking about large rows, like in the backgrounds. You know, you'll have like 10, 20 across on these Fs, you know. Um, whereas in here, you'll have like, you will have like a six across, five across, four across, and then three across. You know, same thing in, even in here, you'll have three, four across. So those of you like smaller multi-placers, like threes, fours, fives maybe even, you know, it'll you'll still be able to use uh, your color your multiplacer throughout most of this picture. It's just um, I think we tend to think of color blocking as in 
like a six section this big of color blocking. And when we think of confetti, we think of a section like this size with like 35 colors, you know? There's, there's a happy medium in there. Anyways, enough about that. Enough of me blabbing on. These are two beautiful canvases. Thank you so much, FG Normal. Uh, two different canvases, two beautiful canvases. Definitely can, like I said, make this your own if you feel like it. And the, the colors in this one will be stunning. She is beautiful, very regal. Just, I love her hair again in her dress, how they're flowing against the window there. Stunning, stunning pieces. Thank you so much, FG Normal. Again, they'll be linked below in the description box. Thank you all so much for joining me today. And until next time, please, everybody, be safe, be happy, and stay safe, stay happy. Bye, guys.